So you are welcome back. Let's continue with the design of our main interface. So the next thing we want to add is our toolbar. Our toolbar is a bar that contains the tool. For example, this is a toolbar. This bar right here, you can see this cursor, is our toolbar. So all these are tools. They are just there for shortcuts. They are tools. All these are tools, you can see. This is another tool, another tool. So what I want to add is a toolbar. I'll go to the palette. I'll come to toolbar, double click, and uh, place it here. Let me just expand. I'll expand it. I see that it's expanded. Toolbar. So on this, I'm going to put different images to serve as my shortcut. You can see that these are images, images, images. Now I will place my images on buttons. So I will add buttons to this particular toolbar. So let me go to buttons. Where's my button? Button. Double click, place the first button here. Then you come to palette, just hold the shift, uh, double click, hold the shift so that I can place another button here. Then place another button here. So now I can uh, make sure I have my images saved in a particular folder and my images on the desktop have my icons here. So I have the first one, the second one, and the third one. So what I want to do now is to create an image folder in my application. So I will go to my projects, come to my banking application, source packages. Then I'll click on this source packages. I will right click new Java package. So let me name it images. And finish so here I can double click and paste any image I copy from the desktop so let me go to my icon just control a then control C come back to my application so my projects let me paste my images here <coughs> so I have my images right at the top so now i can now start placing each one or each of the images on this particular button to serve as my shortcuts so the first thing i need to do is to remove the text on the button then this particular button is highlighted i've removed the text and is highlighted so i'll come to properties i'll come to icon click on that then you choose the images folder. Then you select the image. Let me select the first image as they appear. First image. Click on what? Okay. You can see that it's appearing. Come to second one. Edit the text. Make sure there's no text on it. Come to properties. Icon. Images. The second image. Click on what? Okay. And the third one, you edit the text, then uh, come to properties, icon, select your images. I want the third images to be selected. Click on OK. So we have the images right there. So these are the are the tools on my toolbar. So let's just run our application and see what happens. So you can see that they appear here. They appear here. Now, the next thing I want to do is to add my tooltip to this particular tool on the toolbar. Tooltip is just like, if you click on this now, you can see that new project is just like an explanation of each of the tool. That's what we call the tooltip. So click on the first one. Come to tooltip at the property side. Let me come to tooltip, tooltip, tooltip. Where's my tooltip located? Tooltip, tooltip. I've not seen the tooltip. Where is it located? Now I've located it. So you can see that it is null. So just click it. 
set it to lawyer. Let me let me make that to be a shortcut for registration. Okay, let me say just say register new customers. That's good. Now the second one you click on it. Let me say the tool tip. Tool tip, tool tip is null. Let me just make that to be make your deposit here. Make make your deposit. Then the third one, let me make it make your withdrawal. Tool tip. Make your withdrawal. So let me just run my application and see the effect of adding a tooltip to each of the tool. So you can see that if you leave your cursor on this particular, it will say register a new customer. Leave your cursor, it will say make your deposit. If you place your cursor here, you say what? Make your withdrawal. That is what we call the tooltip. Now the next thing we want to add is to divide this particular interface into two. The first particular side of the two split will be for different buttons for different operations. Why this the bigger side which will be on the right hand side will be for my desktop. So I'm going to add what I call split pin. That's the purpose you see how it's going to look like by the time we start working with it. So we'll come to this particular palette. Let's go to split pane. Let's look at our split pane. Okay, this is our split pane. Swing containers. Double click and place it here. You can expand. Just let it expand very well. Let's expand and make sure it captures the entire screen. Okay. Okay. So now this my split pane it splits the interface into two. We have the left and we have the right. Now it has some properties like divider location. So I have my divider location to be 84. If I had a higher value, then you see how it's going to look like. Let me see 150. You can see that the size here has increased, the size of the left hand side has increased, and this has decreased. Then we also have the divider location to be five, it means this particular tiny space is what five. So I can add it to six, say seven, six, seven. You can see that the space between the two split has what increased, but let me leave it to five. Five is okay. So now this is a split pane and we need to cover a split pane with something else. We can we need to cover it with what we call uh, the panel. So let me cover the left hand side with panel to make it look appear very well. If you click if you run the application now, you can see that it's going to look like a button. Button. We don't want it to look like a button. We want it to look very nice. So just right click the left hand side of the split pane, right click. You see what? Add from palette, swing containers, and what? Panel. You can see that it's now looking very nice. As in very nice. Now, we can now cover the right hand side with the desktop pane. You right click, add from palette, swing containers, desktop pane. So let us run our application and see how beautiful our application will look like. Yes, you can see that it looks very nice. As in very, very nice. So we'll meet in the next class to continue the design of our main interface. Thank you very much.